It is Jennifer L. Watson here from the House of Oya Botanica. All right, so this oil is the Hajan oil. Now, you might have heard Hajan, Hajan the Conqueror, John the Conqueror, Lil John, a whole bunch of different Johns, right? Um, but pretty much just wanted to give you all those just in case you heard of it. But there was a root that was named after him. And although the origins are unknown of how this root of this plant became affiliated with him, um, ironically enough, the root is indigenous to Mexico. Isn't that funny? I actually learned that in, um, in some books I was reading about the history of hoodoo and things of that nature. But just to give you a little bit of background on who this person is, is that, you know, there's a lot of information to his legend. Um, but pretty much what it sums up to is that, um, John was the son of a king from the Congo who actually was placed into slavery and he uh, transformed a lot of the low, uh, the low points of slavery um, to work for him and not against him. And so pretty much he served as this, uh, this figure of hope for a lot of people who are around him. Um, and that legend continues on to this day where even though uh, he did end up going back to Africa, his uh, legend remained here uh, in, the, in the U.S. And so he continues to serve his people through this root. He places his spirit and his power into this root of this plant so that people can summon his power uh, whenever they needed him. Okay. So just, that's just a very brief history, um, on who Hajon is, but Hajon is a very popular, uh, oil that is found within hoodoo, of course, with his connection to slavery. And we, uh, um, and if you don't know, then I would suggest take a look into the history of hoodoo and how it was used in slavery. Okay. All right. It's always important to know your history, to know your whys before you start doing any kind of magical work because you don't, you never know what you might be doing. <laughs> okay. So to give you some suggestions on how to use this oil, one of the most popular ways is to just wear, you know, some of the oil, especially when you need to have a little bit more courage, have a little bit more power, um, to give your workings, um, a little bit more power, things of that nature. Um, you can do money rituals, um, with this oil too, using yellow candles. Um, and you can really use this oil to gain mastery, um, over anything, you know, when you need to, um, kind of dominate something. Uh, another thing that I did not list down here, uh, but you can actually, uh, anoint like mojo bags and things of that nature with his oil. So, all right, that is all that I have for you today. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video out. You know, each one to each one, right? <laughs> have a beautiful day. See you in the next video.